thank you for watching this video. Uh, this video will show you uh, how to handle transfer funds in QuickBooks Online. So if you're between two bank accounts, I'll show you with or without banking downloads. Okay, so let's go to QuickBooks Online right now. There are a couple of ways uh, of handling this. And when transferring funds between two bank accounts, uh, the entry must be made with one transaction, one transaction to avoid uh, duplication. Okay, the first way is the designated way is to use transfer here, right here, from your uh, home page screen. Screen, click uh, create plus sign, and under other transfer. Okay, so in this example, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make uh, uh, two transactions here. One $15 transfer from savings to checking. And other transaction, I'm going to do $10 transfer from checking to savings. So the first one is savings to checking and $10 from checking to savings. Okay, so I'm on uh, uh, transfer form. So first you have to do is transfer from the first one is savings, Chase Savings. It's your bank account. You should have a bank account in the chart of accounts. So select savings. As you can see here, the moment you select from, you'll so you'll, you'll see the balance in your right side. This is the balance. So this is uh, it's, you have fifty dollar balance in here, and uh, transfer to checkings. So amount we are transferring is fifteen dollar. So let's put the transfer amount is fifteen dollars. So this is transfer from savings to checking. Okay, so what this will do is it will reduce fifteen dollar from this $50 so you'll have a $35 balance and in here you're adding $15 so you should have a $115 balance now once you uh, save and post this uh, entry okay so save and close okay now as you can see it's right here it's $115 in your checking account $35 in your savings account. So this one went down, this one went up. Okay, so that's the first entry, and I'm going to do the second entry in the same place. Okay, so this time it's a $10 transfer from checking to savings. So $10 transfer from checking to savings is $10. So this one is a transfer from checking to savings. Okay. So the moment you save this, as you can see here, the balance changed. This one went down. This one went up. Okay. So that's all you got to do. It's a, it's in one transaction. You don't need to do it twice. Okay. So that's one way of doing it. And let's go through here. And I'm going to delete this one, both. Okay. And uh, second way is just to uh, uh, do the uh, check in here. You can just use this one if you want. Okay, so choose. So this one we're going to do uh, from savings to checking. Okay, so let's just add uh, one bank here. Let's just say Chase. Okay. Okay, so this one we're going to do 
$15 transfer from savings to checking. So in this case, it's, it's bank account is already there. So in here, you, all you have to do is select uh, your uh, checking checking account right here, savings, the checking, and amount is $15. Okay. So this is just a transfer. No check involved. Here we go. Okay, as you can see here, the balance went down. Now let's do it the other way. This one is from checking, and we're gonna do uh, ten dollar. So this one is from checking to savings. From checking to savings. So that's how you do it. So, uh, so if you click it here, it will take you to your uh, uh, bank download stuff. Uh, and now you can also do the zone entry if you want. The only entry that I hear. That's the third way. This one is all we're assuming you're not using uh, uh, banking download. We're doing without banking downloads. And I will, in a minute, I will show you with banking download. Okay. So in here, account is uh, from checking savings to checking. Right here. Okay. So the first one is transfer from savings to checking. Okay, so from, it means you are reducing your balance. So this is the debit and credit stuff. So $15, you're reducing from your bank account. $10, $15 here, increasing your checking account. So this is transfer from savings to checking. And in here, transfer transfer to so this one is transfer money from checking to savings. Okay, so this is for checking. So this balance will go up. This balance will go down. So, it, so if you understand, if you understand the debits and credits in here. So in bank account with asset in your balance sheet, it's debit. So if you want to reduce it, you have to use credit. Bank account is debit on your balance sheet. That's your assets. So you're adding to asset is plus. Add it, subtracting your asset, your bank account is minus. So this is debit and credit. So let's save this. Okay. So as you can see here, with this, you know, it's changed, okay? Uh, and you can do the other one again if you want. Don't we'll enter again. This time, the second one, $10 transfer from savings, so checking to savings. So checking, normally you, you start with debits and credit, but it doesn't matter. So let's say you add this one, from checking to savings, okay. To savings, it's debit. That's ten dollars. This is your savings account, and from is credit, right here, ten dollar. Okay, here we go. All right, so now uh, let's just delete all these. Delete this one. Okay. Delete zone entry again. Okay, so those three, it's manual entries. Transfer is manual. 
transfer his manual, zone entry is manual, check his manual. So this is without doing any bank downloads. Okay, so now we're going to move up, move to uh, bank downloads. So what happens to bank downloads? Okay, uh, as this seen here, I'm going to delete. Uh, I'm going to leave uh, one entry right now. You have one entry in here. Okay, I'm going to leave that one, and I'll show you now. Let's go to the bank downloads now. Transactions, banking. Okay, as you can see here. Uh, since we have uh, done one manual entry, you will see match in here. So this is your uh, new transaction section. This is your bank fees, banking center. Okay, so banking download match means you are you have already entered that transaction and you don't need to add it. Add means you haven't done any manual entry and you want to add it. Okay, so if you just since you have already done the manual entry in here, these two, all you have to do is just click these two to match it. You don't need to do anything, just match it. Okay, uh, and uh, uh, if you do add again, if you change this and add again, it will duplicate your transaction. Okay, don't, there's no need to add okay so I'm gonna delete these two and see what happens I'm gonna delete this one delete that one as you can see here it's uncategorized now I'm gonna delete the other one okay so now so you, you'll see add in here so what that means is you haven't done any manual entry and uh, you downloaded these two transactions but you haven't added to QuickBooks so when you download you will see all the transactions in here and your job is to categorize this and move it to in QuickBooks okay so so we have to add it you can just click it here and uh, sometimes we'll say add or sometimes it's transfer depends on how you 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 download in uh, your bank banking transactions? Okay, so you can do uh, transactions. Let's add in here. So basically, it's from savings. So it's right here from Chase to savings. Let's add transfer in here. It's done. And in here, this one happens to be uh, to savings. You're moving money from your checkings to saving. Let's add it. It's done. So that's how you have to do it. It's always transfer transfer funds between two bank accounts. The entry is just one transaction. Uh, you don't need to do it twice on the other uh, savings account. So that's it. And uh, uh, well, please, please subscribe to our uh, YouTube channels. We have two channels. EP controller, new QBO, EP controller. This one deals with all kinds of uh, accounting uh, uh, videos, and this new QBO is uh, strictly for QuickBooks Online only. Also, you can like us on Facebook, please. Facebook QuickBooks QBO, Facebook.com QuickBooks QBO, and web our website for new, new QuickBooks Online is newQBO.com. Here is our website. Thank you for uh, watching. Bye.